Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Compliance Corner with John Hansen. Today is a wonderful Friday, April 24th, and once again, I am joined by my dear friend, John Hansen. John, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you. Awesome. Okay, so really important topic today. We're talking about fraud. And fraud is kind of running rampant right now. So let's deep dive into a couple of um, um, really important fraud alerts that our folks need to be aware of. So the first one is the National Association of Realtors reports that scammers are calling realtors and are identifying themselves as representatives of NAR to get your private information. So tell us more about that, John. Well, they, yeah, they don't need um, a lot to be able to pull a scam. So I, I just recently, like within the last week, had $2,000 uh, taken from my bank account. And of course, my bank gave me a notification of it immediately, and I was able to uh, eventually get through to them. It's really hard to get through to them, you know, with, wow. with the, the, the less employees and things. But I got that uh, got that uh, taken care of mm -hmm. and so uh, they were doing that scam through Western Union so they just they just need little bits and pieces of information to be able to pull some sort of a scam and so the the National Association of Realtors says they've gotten a whole bunch of reports about uh, about unsolicited calls from from uh, from from NAR and NAR says we would never unsolicited call and ask for your dues and try to collect your dues and try to get information, personal information from you. So, so if it's unsolicited and someone identifies themselves as being from the National Association of Realtors, then it's likely a fraud. That is fascinating. It's really fascinating that uh, how uh, something like that happened to you. You know, it's interesting. So we actually got a, a phone call from a bank saying that, um, you know, their collection agency and we're going, there's no collection. So yeah, I think that one is, is people are kind of after your money. And speaking of that, about your clients, escrow companies are reporting that wire fraud is rampant. Work with your clients in escrow to ensure they are taking precautions. What more about that, John? Yeah, they. so the word out from, from escrow companies is that even though we've had some fraud in the past, some wire fraud in the past with your clients transferring money for their closings and, and, and earnest monies and things like that, apparently it's, it's, been, it's been ramped up. Uh, I guess I guess the scammers are more bored at home and they're finding more ways to try to get money, right? So we've got to make, make sure we're keeping our clients aware of it. You know, we have that uh, we have we have that bulletin from our uh, on on our MLS Northwest MLS website, one of the very first notifications for wire fraud, and we should probably be making sure we're using that with every client, getting it to every client, so they know. Um, how to make sure they're connecting with their appropriate escrow company to make sure that escrow company is getting the funds. Absolutely. Well, that's great advice, John. So everybody make sure you check the MLS. Always be aware of, of the notifications that they are sending out. So they are very important. Okay. So beware, beware, beware of frauds that are taking place right now. Be vigilant for your clients. John, thank you so much again to, for today. Uh, really, really great information. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend, my friend. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye.